All right, let's see you got a light bulb like this one. A little puffy, it's getting a little up there. You know, it just doesn't have the kick that it used to. But it's not really so bad. You don't really want to throw it out. You know, what do you do with it? Do you fly it? Well, I, I wouldn't suggest that. Not the puffy light bulb like this. That's kind of pushing it. You don't want to take chances. But what you can do with it, you can use it as a transmitter battery. Now what I'm talking about, one of these old trainer ones, like a 27 megahertz one like this, this is to the Wild Hawk, it uses eight AA batteries, and AA that's like, uh, what, 1.5 volts each, and times eight, that's 12, so it's close to 11. So what you do, you carefully sniff the, you know, the power connector, and you go ahead and solder it up. Now, I'm not the best at making this look pretty, but I have to figure out a way how to cover this jumble of wires up. It looks pretty dangerous, but actually, don't worry, it works. I'll show you. There you go. That's how you do that, alright? Uh, you gotta know your way around electronics. Solder it up. You just make sure the red is, is to the positive end, and the black is to the, the negative and just solder it really well make sure that there there will be no no shorts or anything like that you know what I'm saying so that's what you do with one of these another trick you can do with like a NICAD receiver battery say you're getting out of the nitro hobby like I am for now um, I'll, I'll tell you about that in a minute why I'm I'm doing electrics right now but I have a whole, a whole bunch of these NICADs laying around, and uh, what you can do is you can dip, disassemble them, you know, cut it down and, you know, cut off the, the covering, and you got to be careful of the, when you take them apart, the, the metal contacts that go across the, the uh, tops of the batteries can be really sharp, so you got to be careful. Use some pliers, uh, pliers to, you know, take them off, but you take it apart. You know, they're, they're chargeable double A's. So say you got one of these, a part zone, one cell rechargeable. You don't want to use the alkaline batteries because, you know, after 20 charges they're dead and whatever. And it works fine. Now that may sound kind of bla blasphemous to uh, a glow guy, but you know, I'm I'm a glow guy too. My my second plane was a glow plane. In fact, I still have the engine to it. An Evolution 46, um, which I, I'm not getting rid of. I'm actually going to use this when I get a chance. Right now, I can't use it because I'm in an apartment and, you know, you can't have glow fuel laying around. So, I mean, I had to do something with these and I had a, I just got a new, uh, Micro Sukhoi, I'll show you guys. Maybe get some footage of it flying when it gets warmer. But yeah, I mean, that's what I use, use them for right now. Um, I mean, it's nothing gets glow, it's just I use what I got, you know. Um, or you can even use them in your DX6i transmitter. Everyone has one of these, right? DX6i, it's not bad. But yeah, I've actually tried it. Those same batteries work in here. <clears throat> so that's that for now. Just what you can do with old Lycos and NICAD receiver batteries. Um, I don't know if I covered this, but yeah, you can only use three cell Lycos for the the eight AA transmitters. You know, 11.1 volts. You know. But oh, I didn't tell you this actually. This is kind of common sense, but of course this doesn't have a BS BEC, so it's not going to cut off the voltage when it gets low. Mine has a low battery indicator, but you know not every one of them has that. Probably well, most of them do, but still you have to watch it. And when it gets low, make sure to turn it off. It'll kill your battery. Unless you want that to happen, <laughs> maybe you do. Want maybe you're. Maybe like me, your recharger doesn't have a discharge thing. I need to get a newer charger, actually. Uh, I need one of those. I need a discharge. You have to have a charger that has a discharge and a balance. Balance thing. It's a balancing charger. Anyways, 
I'm getting off on an entire different tangent, but anyways. Alright, another video coming soon. See you guys later.